Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about one of history's most infamous serial killers, Ted Bundy. Even if you don't know much about true crime, you've likely heard Bundy's name before. He was a handsome man who used his charm and intelligence to manipulate his victims and evade law enforcement for years. So how did this normal man become one of the most prolific serial killers in AM? Eric in history? Let's find out. Theodore Robert Bundy was born in 1946 in Vermont to an unmarried mother, Eleanor Louise Cowell. His father's identity remains a mystery to this day. For the first few years of his life, Bundy lived in Philadelphia, believing that his grandparents were his real parents and that his mother was his older sister. Eventually, Bundy discovered the truth. However, when or how this happened is unclear since Bundy told different stories. Bundy had a turbulent adolescence as he struggled to come to terms with not having a steady father figure. He became fascinated with violence at a young age, consuming violent pornography. He also exhibited disturbing behavior like peering into people's windows and stealing. Bundy committed his first known crimes in the early 1970s by assaulting and murdering young women in Washington and Oregon. Though he had been on law enforcement's radar ever since his girlfriend reported him, Bundy avoided arrest due to lack of evidence tying him directly to the disappearances. In 1974, women started disappearing in Utah, around the same time Bundy moved there to attend law school. Bundy traveled between Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Utah, and Colorado to prey on young women. Using charm and fake injuries or disabilities, he would lure his victims to secluded areas where he would sexually assault and murder them. In August 1975, Bundy got pulled over and arrested for evading police. When investigators searched his car, they found handcuffs, an ice pick, and other suspicious items. He was sentenced to prison when one of his attempted kidnapping victims identified him. Bundy escaped prison twice in 1977, continuing his murderous rampage after the escapes. In February 1978, Bundy went on a horrific killing spree at a sorority house in Florida, brutally murdering three women and severely injuring others. A week later, he kidnapped and murdered a 12-year-old girl. After more rampages throughout Florida, Bundy was finally recaptured in 1978 and convicted for his crimes, receiving death sentences in 1979 and 1980. In total, Bundy confessed to 30 homicides between 1974 and 1978, but experts estimate his actual victim count is much higher. He was executed via electric chair in 1989 at age 42. His case shocked the nation for how a person appearing so normal could secretly be a monster committing heinous crimes. That wraps up this video on Ted Bundy's horrific killing spree. If you enjoyed this content, hit that subscribe button for more true crime videos every week.